Okay, just take a knee, guys. You know, once again, with the, you know, it's a little harder grappling because, I mean, you could shadow box some of the stuff on the ground. It's a little harder. A lot of times you do need a partner to kind of work with and give you different energies and stuff. But, you know, that's why before and after class, you know, if you grab somebody that was here at the seminar, you guys have this in common. You guys can work on some of the techniques. I really don't expect you guys to get all of them, you know. But at least you guys will have the video and you'll have it on paper. So just get one. Just get number one down. And then once you feel really good at number one, then go to number two. I just kind of laid it out for you so that now that you have it, you know, because I never know if I'm going to be able to do this again. So, I mean, even if we don't know, right? Right. I mean, this might be the last time I see you. I don't know. So, at least I got this information out to you. And then you can work on it from there. Cool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so, two more things I want to show you guys. You guys, I'm not going to ask you to practice, but I do want to get on video so that you guys can have it archived as well. Case in hand. Okay, so, Danny, lay flat. So, has anybody ever been in this position before when uh, this knee is like this? Yes, sir. Okay. And you're like this, and what is he usually going to do when this happens? Push it. Get He's going to push uh, it and go for a Kimura. Kimura? Okay, go ahead. Go for a Kimura. So that happens, right? Okay, and this is probably a pretty bad position to be in as well. So you guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. It's the latest one. Back up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so watch it. It's so simple, it's going it's to make you laugh, right? So here's my counter. So when that happens, I go like this. I lean down. Oh. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> See, it's shoulder locking him now. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So he goes for a Kimura from this position. So I fall out and I trap his wrist and his leg. Lift up. Cool. One more time. Uh -huh. One more time. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So he gets here. I fall out and I trap his leg. And then I just pull up. Cool? So, so. Okay, another one. Hi, we're here with uh, Aaron Ortega, and he just finished a striking part of the Mr. Ricardo seminar. And Aaron, the first question I got for you is, how did, what did you get the most out of, out of the seminar? Um, with Mr. Ricardo teaching me how to uh, work those angles, boxing my opponent, uh, the footwork, essentially just slowing everything down, not getting too overzealous, uh, and getting my form right was the biggest thing that I was able to uh, take out of today's seminar. Other than all the, uh, the really good combos that he showed us, I think getting down to the basics, doing it right from the, the get-go uh, was the biggest thing that uh, I need to work on and that Mr. Ricardo pointed out. Okay, a little point out, a little flaws in your game. That's all right. Keep working at it. So the second question is, is what did you think of Mr. Ricardo's uh, instruction? How, how well do you, was it understandable? Were you able to follow it? He's just so vivid in his instruction. Um, it's almost as if he knows how you're making your mistakes. And so he's able to point them out before you even make them. And uh, he's, he's very clear, concise. And uh, when, he, when he describes it, he makes eye contact with his crowd. And it really kind of draws you in more. He's not just talking to thin air. He's, uh, you feel like he's talking right to you. And uh, even though he's got a lot of heads in the room, um, he makes you feel like uh, you're individually uh, getting coached by him. It's a phenomenal feeling to get back to your roots, to where the school really derived from. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so that completes our uh, video with Aaron Ortega. Thank you. Thanks, guys.